It get cold in the winter Like my girl's waist thick, size slimmer Young spitter, I'm a fit fly dripper Team full of dreamers, I'm a stick ride with them Hi, what's up YouTube? It's Dom here from Payday Pickups and I'm back with another video and today is another trip to the thrift, a well-crested video again. If you haven't seen my first one, it's actually doing insane and I actually found some unreal pickups. I found some Mason Margellas, found some Silver Bullets, found some Ralph, Champion, etc. The link will be in the description box below as well as a card up here. But once again, we're gonna hit up Goodwill. So I'm gonna to run to Goodwill because it's literally like 50 minutes out of town. And then we'll hit up some of the ones in Center City like Buffalo Exchange. And also I'm gonna go check out this Salvation Army too. I know it's around near me. And also YouTube's algorithm has been a bit fucking up at the moment. So be sure to hit that notification bell so you'll be notified every single time I upload a video. Anyways, on to Goodwill. So finally arrived at Goodwill. I definitely should not have worn shorts. The wind here is so cold. My legs are literally freezing. Let's get inside and find some steam. It get cold in the winter, like my girl's waist thick, size slimmer. Young spitter, I'm a fit fly dripper. Team full of. So the first find right here, we found this kind of like forest green Tommy Hill figure, kind of oxford shirt, and this is going for only seven dollars. So we're gonna put that in my basket. So we just came across this Ralphie short sleeve. It's actually though, it's in a size double XL. So I'm gonna have to give it a miss. So we just came across this Ralphie t-shirt. I think it's a women's it's a size small, very nice color, like a tan with the navy pony. And this is only going for four dollars. So definitely gonna cop this. So right next to it, we literally just found another Ralphie t. This is one in a size extra large. It's definitely men's, red with the navy pony. And once again, it is only four dollars. So definitely gonna cop that. Blind bitches try to stop my vision. We can pop right with it if you got five minutes. I'm good for you. Got a list of things that I would do to you. Take you around the world if that shit cools you. Girl, you got me stupid. I'm on fool for you. Can't be losing you, not slightly. I'ma slide right in it cause I might see. Got me on my sad boy like Pisces. Thrifting, a good thing to always look out for is these on the sleeve. The champion embroidery right there. This is only $2. And this is a size medium big logo champion t-shirt. Definitely gonna cop this. If you don't remember me mentioning it in the last video, basically Champion is really cheap in the US because it used to be like the university college gear, whereas in the UK it's a lot more expensive so it sells for a lot more. Literally thought I came across a Napa Jerry t-shirt, but unfortunately it's just a Denmark t-shirt and it's only going for $2 so it could still cop, but I think I'm going to give it a miss. So I came across this Flyknit Runners, they're actually only going for $6, but unfortunately they are shredded here so I'm going to have to give them a miss. So I also found this pair of Puma baskets. I worked in Puma, so these go for about £40 in the outlet as well. These are only going for $6.00 too, and they are in a size UK 7, so quite a popular size, but I think they're just a bit too yellowing for me. So that is a wrap at Goodwill. Unfortunately, it definitely was not as good as last time, but we came out with about four pieces for about $16. So just over £10, we got some Champion, some Ralph Lauren, and some Tommy Hilfiger. But on to the next thrift store. Maybe you losing you, not slightly. I'm a slide ride in it, cause I might see. Got me on my sad boy like Pisces. On the real day, y'all just type peace. Ain't nobody like me, like me. So just came across this Indiana Puma sweatshirt for $5. I'm gonna cop that. So we just came across this diamond supply t-shirt right here and I think that says 99 cents so I'm definitely going to cop that. Just came across two Ralphies on the trot, a navy one there, the red and then also a navy one there. One is size XL and one is size L and they're both $2 each so I'm definitely going to cop them too. This old logo Tommy Hilfiger shirt for $9. Unsure if I'm going to cop or not. Size large, they're a good size but it's the old logo. So after going to Goodwill and the Salvation Army, I basically went back to mine to drop off the stuff. I basically got changed, got some lunch. So now I'm on my way to Centre City and I'm going to hit up Buffalo Exchange. Hopefully there'll be some good stuff there. Girl, you got a good luck. And I swear to God, you got a good start. Girl, you shit that shit and got me shook up. Dive right in and wish me good luck. I can't give up because I'm too young. I can't drive home because I'm too drunk. Look, it get cold in the winter. Baby, come warm me up for a minute. Right here we have a pair of the Ultimate Dad Shoe, the Nike Air Monarchs and these are in a size 9 for $30 and they're actually in really good condition too, so I might cop these. So we just came across this Ralphie quarter zip, it's in the rice cream kind of beige colourway with like the brown suede toggle. It's in a size small going for $20, so after tax probably about $22, so it's something I have to keep in mind as well, it's quite expensive though. But, and it's in a size small, so not the best size. So there's these pair of Sorconies or Sorconies, however you want to call them, they're a sick colourway, $34. US 11, actually my size. 
I actually really like these, I might cop these for myself. The mad pair of Dolce and Gabbana, you can see it on the buckle right there. Loafers, they're not in my size, only $30. These retail probably literally, probably like $200, Dolce and Gabbana. Very, very good condition too. If they were my size, I probably would have copped. And even more Ralph, this is a big USA flag polo jeans collection from the Ralph Lauren. This is basically an old school collection. Size large, 12, so perfect size and $12 and there's no cracking whatsoever. Definitely gonna cop as well. Baby girl, you changed my mind, changed my mind Maybe I could change your life Haters try to change my time, but it's not that simple Gotta hate it in a pickle Cause I'm popping like a pimple, shorty blow me like a whistle Shoot my shot and never dribble Love it when you scratch my back and get to rubbing on my temples Got me feeling like the shit Going steady in the wind, need a Chevy on my Mate, how can stuff like this even exist? Like, who has ever thought to buy this? Like, what the fuck is this? Strings don't forget to stick to your a zipper and then what the fuck is it? This is actually disgusting. This is dreadful. Whatever brand this is, rise as one. With the flipping one there, you are fucking shit. This is Adidas skateboarding tee, like the white and kind of like the peach color. You can't see as well. It's kind of got these pinstripe lines, but you can't see because of the lighting. And the skateboarding collection tees go for so much more. And this is only going for $13. Perfect condition, size large. I actually might keep this for myself. Definitely going to cop. Just found this Rick and Morty t-shirt. Honestly, one of the best cartoon TV shows out there. If you have not seen the series, you're sleeping on it. And it's only $9 in my size extra large too, but I'm not going to cop it. Bear tempted to get this. This is the vintage Kooji oversized multicolor pony. I think I'm gonna go try this on the change room. $25 too, but Kooji is honestly so rare. Even has the rainbows on the buttons and on the sleeves right there. Place is full of steels. We just found this vintage color block Patagonia fleece, size extra large, nice patch there. It's definitely authentic right there, and it's only going for $30, so I'm definitely gonna cop that too. In rooms right now, you lot will not believe what I found. I had to sweep it up so fast. I had so many clothes in my hands, I couldn't show you on the racks, but it's probably my best find at a thrift. Maybe as good as the Mason Margiela shirt. It is an OVO. You see the logo right there embroidered and the tag right there, size medium, only $26. And literally these go for like $100 retail, heavyweight quality, and it's definitely authentic too. I'm probably gonna keep this for my personal. Definitely keeping this like Adidas kind of skateboarded in USA shirt, got the France kind of colored flags. Fit is insane. It's like a kind of like a gym material, so lightweight. Definitely keeping this for myself. This Gucci polo is literally insane, looking like a motherfucking rainbow. <laughs> All these colours. Literally, someone who would love this polo, I could tell, is the boy Roy Purdy, the YouTuber. You would have seen him. He's the one who wears like the pur pink and green glasses. This would suit his style perfectly. My mind, change my mind. Maybe I could change your life. Haters try to change my time, but it's not that simple. Gotta hate it in a pickle. Cause I'm popping like a pimple. Shorty blow me like a whistle. Shoot my shot and never dribble. Love it when you scratch my back and get to Rubbing on my temples, got me feeling like the shit. Going steady in the way, need a Chevy. On Just found this hill figure duffel bag, and it's a forest green with like a blue and white. It's very good condition, and it's only $22 too. So, probably gonna cop this, and it'll be perfect to carry this whole bunch of stuff that I've copped. Nice guy just came over and just asked if I fuck with Supreme. So there's a Supreme shirt right here. I don't know if it's legit. The tag looks a little bit off to be honest right there. Size large and they're only asking for 28. Let me know if you think it's legit. It only has like a small little stain there. But yeah, it's a Supreme kind of Oxford shirt. It keeps getting better. We just found this Y3 kind of gilet and it's only going for $36. That's a steal. Black label too. Literally just got the white zippers right there and the white stitching. Actually a really clean piece and it's in a size medium. And then I've just searched it up. This Supreme shirt is definitely legit. I'm definitely gonna cop it. It's kind of got this tiny stain, but definitely worth it as well. That's actually my first Supreme piece. He literally found these two Burberry pieces. So we have a Burberry shirt right here, double XL Burberry Brit. And also the Burberry Polo with the Nova check too. This one's only $21. And this one is $38. And we're unsure if we're gonna keep them because we don't know if they're legit. I think they're legit. They look pretty real. The embroidery is really nice and the tags look good. Let me know if you think we've slept on this. So we just finished up at Buffalo Exchange. Excuse the audio because it's really windy out here. But oh my God, that is literally the best thrift store I've probably been to. Copped so much stuff. Got some, I got that Supreme. I can't believe that guy even gave me that t-shirt. I made a friend there. He found loads of Burberry Y3. Got loads of Hilfiger, Adidas skateboard and Kooji. Now I'm gonna head back to mine. I'm gonna showcase all the items in the huge haul. I spent about about $150 in there, which is quite expensive, but I got a lot for my money. So anyways, I'll see you at mine. So now we are finally back at my place after a long day of thrifting. We hit up three stores, but we're gonna start with the good stuff first, and that is from Buffalo Exchange. 
But before we get into the pickups, please make sure to hit that subscribe button. I'm trying to hit 35K before the new year. We're currently at 34,000. I want to hit 35K. And then I'll be doing a giveaway to celebrate you lot for the new year as well as Christmas. But anyways, so from Buffalo Exchange, we got this nice, as you see right here, this goodie bag, this duffel bag from Tommy Hilfiger, the first pickup. Probably going to keep this for myself. It's really good to carry around when thrifting because I usually cop quite a bit. And then we'll go into the pieces. So the first piece, as you saw, the absolute grail, the long sleeve OVO shirts, pretty much brand new, very, very heavyweight with just the embroidery right there. So the second pickup from Buffalo Exchange, it was this Supreme Oxford shirt right here, light blue, very, very simplistic, the old Supreme tag, and then it just has the little branding of Supreme right there. I honestly can't believe why that guy gave it to me. It's so nice of him. I think he said he ran out of money, but oh uh, well, I came through with it. The next up we have this fleece and this is from the brand Patagonia. Very extra extra large, very, very thick and good quality too. It's navy red with the Patagonia badge right there. Then next up we have, this is the Adidas skateboarding t-shirt. I actually didn't realize well it's got USA on the back, which is kind of annoying, I wish it didn't have that, but I'm gonna keep this for myself. Really like the colorway and it fits really nicely. Then next up we have, I don't even know what this is. This is a, oh shit yeah, it's the white big USA flag Ralph Lauren t-shirt in a size large, no cracking whatsoever. Pretty much seems like it's brand new. I swear these are vintage tees as well, it's a thicker quality. And then we have, this is just the simple Carhartt pocket tee, nice and heavyweight quality. And it's kind of washed out too, I really like it. And it's got the nice pocket right there. I prefer it, it looks a lot more vintage. It's kind of like a washed out burgundy or cherry. And then the next piece we have from there, this one, it's controversial. It looks like, what is that children's ele elephant book, if you remember? I can't remember the name, is it Nelly the Elephant? I don't even know. I'll put a photo up here. This all over print Kuji polo. Some of you will probably think this is absolutely disgusting, but I fucking love it. So much coloured, stands out. It's got some really good details right there. Also has something on one of the sleeves right there. And just Kuji at the bottom. So loads and loads of colours and details. And then the final piece we got from Buffalo Exchange, it was another, the duo of the Adidas skateboarding tees right there. It's white with kind of a peach and it kind of has like the pinstripe lines. Unfortunately, this one's not embroidered. This is just printed on. So it was a little bit cheaper, but the material is honestly so sick and the colorway is wavy. So now we're going to move on to the next thrift store. So we're going to do it in reverse order. We're going to go for the Salvation Army pickups. So first of all, we just got the Essential Ralph Pony t-shirt, short sleeve with just the navy embroidered right there. $2, absolute steal. And then the next one, this was probably the best one I got in the Salvation Army. It literally looks like it's brand new to be honest, is this Diamond Supply, very heavyweight t-shirt, and it was literally a dollar. There's no cracking whatsoever. It's probably my, I think it's my second or third diamond piece. Diamond's kind of died down a bit now, but I actually really still like it. The quality is really good as well. And then next up we have the duo of the second Ralph VT. Once again, 199 Navy, just a different size. This one feels a bit thinner than the other one. And then last but not least, it is just a vintage sweatshirt, just a college sweatshirt, oh, Indiana, and it is the brand Puma, or Puma, however you want to say it, just red spell out. And it was only six, five dollars actually, so very, very cheap from Salvation Army. So the final place now is Goodwill. Unfortunately, it was definitely, definitely not as good as the first time. No Mason Margiela, no Ralph, no Champion. Actually, there was some Champion. But the first piece we got, what is this forest green, pine green, Tommy Hilfiger kind of Oxford shirt. Just a nice, simple Tommy branding right there. Thick Oxford shirt material, kind of the same as the Supreme one. And then next up we have, so this is the Champion I got. Just a simple Champion t-shirt, big print on logo with the embroidery on the sleeve. $2, very, very cheap and essential. Next up, we had another Ralphie. So this one is just a kind of a creamy one with the navy Ralph Lauren pony. And this, well, I think this is a women's. It feels a bit smaller and like, you can see, tell by the cut unless it's just shrunk. And then last but not least, I can't even remember what this is. Is this? Oh shit, yeah. It is another Ralphie. So we've got four fucking Ralphies today. Short sleeve, red with the navy pony embroidered. So that is a wrap. That is all the items I got from my trip to the thrift number two. If you haven't already, be sure to check out my trip to the thrift number one. I found some insane pieces. I found some Mason Margiela and a pair of silver bullets and loads more. Let me know in the description box below if you thought my trip to the thrift one cops were better than my trip to the thrift two. Let me know my, your favorite piece too in the description box below. I'm personally going to keep the OVO long sleeve. I'm going to sell, I think, the Supreme Oxford shirt. It doesn't really fit into my style. But if you enjoyed this video and you want to see more trips to the thrifts, leave a comment. Also, leave a like really goes a long way and also to hit that subscribe button i post two men's fashion videos every 
every single week, one midweek and one every single Sunday. And it'll help me hit 35K and there'll be a giveaway for you lot. But overall, have a nice day. Go check out the rest of my videos and I'll see you in the next one. Yeah, I'm ready for the shit, must have some fat boys hating cause they heavy on my dick, man Oops, I know, God, I swear that guy, you got me super low Loving when you bustin' with the moves, for sure Thinking they gon' drag me out my juice, you won't, you stupid, bro